Every time a child picks up a game, they're learning something. But the question is, what are they learning? Problem solving skills, critical thinking, persistence through failure, these are things that kids pick up in almost any game they play. But at Iridescent, we didn't want to stop there. Why can't we teach kids problem solving skills through physics rather than through magic spells and fire flowers? We can and we are with the Ethers game series. We understand how to make activities that engage kids because our design challenges contain the same properties involved in successful games. Each level has a specific goal and kids must intuitively learn about the forces in each level in order to solve that level. Kids learn physics subtly and implicitly. For example, in the gravity ether, kids place black holes to create gravitational fields which affect the motion of planets. Thus, in order to get a planet to go where you want, you have to gain an intuitive understanding of gravity. The key component of the game is the level editor, which allows kids to create their own levels and publish them for other kids to play. The level editor is continually described by kids as their favorite component of the game, described as addictive and amazing, but it's also where most of the learning occurs. You simply cannot build a good level without understanding the physics and constraints that define that level. So after kids make and publish their levels, they gain a more thorough conceptual understanding of the game's physics. So why the name Ethers? Well, there was this old idea in the 1800s in science that the world was a sort of blank slate in which you plop things like fluids or fields or ethers, and those things would give you physical laws. That's the sort of view we take to this game. We think of the world as breaking into each of these individual ethers or components. Each game is one view, one particular insight into the ethers that make up the world around us. Dive into one of our ethers and learn some physics through play.